Now, some of you have asked about a while ago, um, what is the general perception of drones in Ireland? We've decided to hit the streets. See, it is actually really, really cold, Buzzy, isn't it? Yeah. And my hands are frozen. We're on the Grafton Street, and Grafton Street is known as Performance Street. Even Bono and Sinead O'Connor have come out. So we're at the GPO and this is the, the part of the history back in 1916, the Easter Sunday, where Irish rebels fought English army. And they it was originally built as a post office, um, it still is a post office, and it was a post office in 1916. The GPO itself was hit from Friday onwards, and the building began to burn, the roof began to collapse, and a decision was made to abandon it. The end the result was that Ireland has 26 counties, and England, six which is the Northern Ireland. There are still some bullet holes in the GPO office that you, we can see somewhere there. This is the Moore Street and some of the rebels house themselves in here. They escaped from the GPO by leaving from the side exit towards Moore Street and also Moore Lane. One individual These are the houses where the Irish rebels house themselves after they surrendered the battle GPO. one of the boats from this point. I tried to take from the other side of it but it was too far to even reach. I think here the exit kind of like we're here in front of me so it should be easier to capture them. <laughs> I just can't get them both to like they're so close. Oh, so far away. <laughs> conception I can say is just people went like wow fabulous views there are still a lot of people that don't know about drones because nowadays this is a tool that helps you to take better views more professional I just hope that it doesn't get too regulated that we eventually probably might have to give up on the hobby I really hope that that's not the case and freezing yeah. they're actually warm Ooh. 
Oof. That is the fastest tide that I have ever seen or heard. It's coming so fast. Look, this side is tied as fully in, but this side, nothing. Why there's nothing? Why there's nothing in here? Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? I'm just home now, so, and uh, boozy has gone to school. I forgot to mention that um, there was a talk show about drones on, on one of our um, radio stations here in Ireland. So I managed to get through, I telephones them, and this is what happened. So I'm going to play a little bit. Eight one. And Joe at RT.ie, Ron Smith, let's drone on and on and on. What happened, Ron? Ron you bought a drone. It lost communication with the remote control and tried to fly to Dublin. Have you ever, have you seen it since? No, it's gone. It's in the wind. <laughs> Literally. Let me let me bring in. Uh, do you know Christine? You know Drone Girl. Have you heard of Drone Girl uh -huh, on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's Christine. Christine, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How Hello. many how many drones have you got, Christine? Well, we started with a small drone first, um, yeah. and then we moved on to DJI Phantom XP40. That we, and then I just kind of start loving the the hobby, and um, then we moved on from that onto the unique Q500. So now we have two. Opinion, Can you, you know? fly over a housing estate? No, I wouldn't do that, you know, I would, that's actually kind of, you're invading somebody else's privacy. Fort Abbey in, West, in Westmead, Westmead, isn't it? Yeah. I know it's one of the hidden gems in Ireland, it's absolutely stunning when you, when you arrive there. You've I know. You've captured it beautifully. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's you in the, in the hat and the tracksuit. <laughs> that's right, it was actually tough to find the actual um, location, the actual room. Yeah. <laughs> And you've gone up right. I'm looking into the ruins of the old church there, which is one of the one of the smallest churches in Ireland. And then across yeah. across the road is the other ruins. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, Mary in Clontarf. Mary, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. Now you're going to change your habits, aren't you? <laughs> There'll be no more sunbathing. I in know. Them. And what's, what would you be worried about? Oh, uh, come on. I have grandchildren that use the paddling pool in the nip. Okay. I would hate to think that they could be seen, or myself. Well, that's interesting, yeah. Do you use a paddling pool? No, I don't, but my, okay. <laughs> my grandchildren do. Okay, God, you've gone, very, you've gone very dark all of a sudden. Don't, I'm sure nobody, nobody would do well, that. Well, how Mary. do we know? Ah, Mary. Joe Duffy! Talk to Joe. I would never use as a spine tool. So, some people love, some people hate. Subscribe and drongers. Yeah. Uh, suscríbete en esta página, es muy buena.